Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, May 20th, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And if you want to see all my trades, they are available in the link down below. So let's go and look at the NASDAQ first. And as you can see, well, it went back and forward quite a bit today. We saw the lows here are roughly 11.7K and going to the highs here roughly 12.0K. So it was back and forward. And as I pointed out in my uh, video yesterday, we're getting to a point in the NASDAQ where this is getting fairly overstretched and also oversold. We, If you look at RSI, we're at 35 at this current stage in the daily chart. and Usually when the NASDAQ or any of these indices gets that low in the, in the, in the daily chart, it tends to rally. We have only seen one major rally uh, this year uh, as we are basically in a bear market. And that was basically here in uh, beginning of March. And we ran into the 200 moving average and then fell apart. Since then we have been falling and it's getting to a stage where we are getting really close to another rally. It doesn't mean that it will turn around and head back to a bull market, but anticipation is at the moment that we'll see something similar to this of a rally roughly five, maybe eight, 10%. If you look at the weekly chart, for example, for the NASDAQ, we can also see that we are at 28 here in the RSI, which is very, very low. Historically, when we get to those levels, we can go back to 2020, to 2019, 18, uh, 16, and so on. Uh, all the time, every single time we get very close to the 200 moving average, average and the RSI is that low, it tends to have a significant rally uh, after that. This has been one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh week where we have basically been falling constantly without um, any rally. And we are also significantly outside of the bull in Japan. So, doesn't mean that we're at the bottom, but we are approaching significant support levels at this current stage. If we were to rally, we have found massive resistance at the 20 simple moving average. I need to write it up here. You can see the simple moving average right here in the middle of the bullish band. If we rallied up towards this point, which probably is at 12, uh, uh, 12,400 at this current stage, uh, it could be expected for this to basically be sold into. If we break above the 200 uh, 20 simple moving average, they have the 50 moving average up here, so roughly 13,200. And after that, we have the 200 moving average up here. So this is quite a rally if we were to rally up towards the um, 200 moving average. But if we scroll out, we are still in a bear market and we are still within this channel here, here. But, but at some point we will see a rally up towards this point and then continuing further market it's impossible for it to just to continue falling off a cliff if you look at the macd is still bearish stochastic is still also bearish and so is the rsi so let's look at the s p 500 and it's go out so it technically also fell off a cliff yesterday and it has been all over the place. We kind of tested a double bottom here. If we were to rally at this point, then the 20 simple moving average is, is rushing down towards this uh, path. Then we have the 50 moving average here and then the, 20 simple, uh, the 200 moving average. We did go above the 200 moving average back in in march and then got rejected but since then it has been the 20 simple moving average which we have rallied to and then continue breaking down so getting to that point probably will be um and getting rejected yet again at the 20 simple moving average will probably break at this, this support level that we have built here but also here it is very low in the RSI. We are at 34 uh, in the RSI, almost at uh, oversold conditions. And in the daily chart, that is a kind of big deal. If you look at stochastic, it's still bearish, and so is the MACD, and we are in negative territory. If we were to break above the, the 20 simple moving average, then the 50 moving average is uh, right here, and we could get rejected there. After that is the 200 moving average, 
and that is most likely as far as this market it will go at this point we are also here um, trading at lower lows right here here and also here and get if we basically break above, uh, below this then we'll most likely create another low so let's look at the dow jones but uh, compared to both the nasdaq and the sp500 dow jones has been doing fairly terrible, terrible today, today also here making lower lows and at this point a rally up towards the 20 simple moving average that's kind of probably going to make uh, take quite a long time in order to get there but that's probably also where we get rejected we did rally up towards the 200 and 200 and got rejected then we have tested the 20 and the 50 and then the 20 again and basically broke down so 200 uh, resistant 50 and the 20 resistant and rallying up towards the 20 again that's probably where we'll get rejected but also here we're at uh, thir uh, 32 in rsi very low stochastic is bearish and the macd is bearish as well so we're still basically um in a in a bear market also for uh, the dow jones but this market can't continue falling forever at some point we will see a rally similar to this and then going uh, lower if you look at the, the european markets they were kind of very bearish in the beginning of uh, of the european session but we're still in a bearish channel here we have been rallying and then just breaking down was expected for this to go further but when we hit roughly 13.6 uh, it it um, it rallied up towards the 20 simple moving average if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is bullish stochastic is bearish and the rsi is bearish as well and there's a lot of room to the downside if we break uh, out of this channel then we will most likely go and challenge uh, the very lows here of the 12.4 um, and considering that we are uh, breaking down slowly this is probably where we'll where we will end up breaking above this channel here well that opens the door to first of all the highs here which is roughly at the uh, 14.9k and then the 200 moving average which is slowly turning in this direction and that is probably as far as this market will go as we saw here last time we tested the uh, uh, 200 and the 50 moving average we just fell off a cliff so let's look at the VIX so VIX has been extremely volatile the last two days 15 percent to the upside yesterday and today we are at 7.52 percent to the downside and there's no uh, pullback um or rally at the end of uh, of the session so we may see this continue towards the 50 moving average which we bounced from uh yesterday and if we break below that then the 200 moving average will most likely come into play and that's roughly down here at 23 uh, if we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well, with a lot of room to the downside. So overall, the VIX is kind of building up for uh, higher volatility. volatility. So, but we did not test the bottom here. Um, I expected this to drop below the 50 moving average, but we got this massive rally of 50%. But if we break below the uh, 50 moving average tomorrow or at the beginning of next week, then we may go and test it down 200 moving average before continuing higher. Um, this build up kind of is, um, uh, is kind of a warning that going forward, um, volatility will increase and the fear in the market will increase. and and in the long term, we'll probably see the markets drop uh, further. But as the markets are nearly oversold at this current stage, it would make sense that we will see uh, a minor rally or probably a big rally before uh, dropping even further to the downside. So if you look at the 10 year, it continues to drop, but we saw it bounce quite aggressively as we the moving average, which is a very bullish shine. It was significantly overbought here. We're, uh, we were way above the uh, above 
the line here at 74 and uh, it had to come get, come down so it tested a 50 bounced if we manage to break above these two candlesticks then we may go back towards a 3.1 uh, breaking below here uh, then we could look at the uh, Fibonacci retracements and uh, make an estimate of where we may end up so we have the 30 38.2 right here at 2.6 50 is here at the 2.4 and then we have 61.8 at 2.2 and that is it's probably as far as this market will go before continuing higher to the upside we need to take out these two candlesticks roughly a tree in order to go back towards the very highs so hope you find it helpful you want to support channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos good luck and thank you very much